Now, my guitar is also out of sync. I have a huge guitar that comes in toward the end here. So I need to go in and sync that. And that's this guy right here. So I need to zoom out, find out where that audio starts. It's all the way down here. So I'm going to zoom in. Go to the very beginning of that guitar track. Now I can't tell if it starts here or here. It looks like it probably starts here, but I think it actually does start here. Uh, but given that, I'm going to hit Command-4 again. Turn off my grid. Command-E, split, and delete. And I know for a fact that this guitar starts right here, because you'll notice this blue line, my MIDI track, for the guitar is right there. So it starts right at that moment. And if I want to double check that, I can go into my MIDI notes. Yep. First notes right there. So I want to butt this up right in here. And then make sure your monitor is set to off. Sounds right. So save that. Wait for it to save. OK, moving on. I think everything else is in sync now. So we can go ahead and go with the mix down. Um, one thing to note, if you'll notice, I have Reason hooked up here. I'll show you how this is wired into Ableton. When you uh, want to rewire a device, this automatically has a feature called rewire. You flip over by hitting tab to your back panel. And you'll notice, you may have noticed this before in Reason, there's a hardware device at the top that allows you to patch in audio. Well, if you look, there are numbers for your left and right channel. Or if you want to send a mono feed, you can do that too. And I have something wired into each of these. I have a 3 and 4, 5 and 6, 7 and 8, 9 and 10. And if you go into Ableton, you will notice that, for example, my Thor right here is set to Reason, and then Thor 1. And then below that, the audio, Thor audio right here, is set to channel 5.6. And I'm sending the signal to the master. This could have something to do with why we're having a latency issue. The problem is, I didn't have a problem until I tried plugging an interface in. This is one of the interfaces we have here at work. It's a mega lexicon. And they tend to be notorious for having latency problems when you're using, a, for some reason, Reason in another program, be it Sonar or Ableton. I've always had something go a little bit funky with it. I've been playing with it for a while, and that's why I finally got up and just recorded the audio, because it actually saved me time rather than fight with the uh, MIDI. For the moment, we're going to go in here and figure out how we're going to mix this down so it actually sounds halfway decent before going over to mastering. I'm Bill Holland for GearWire.com, and we're using Ableton Live with Reason.